Well, let's hope. I know she's the pressure's on, Mr. Michael, hey? I never, think, I think how do you feel? How no, do you feel? No, 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 not going there. <laughs> <laughs> let's not go there, but happy birthday, Mrs. Science. Hope you have a great day as well. So, yes, Grant said it. We, it's all about spinach, Popeye power in the kitchen this morning. So, before we're going to make this lovely cream, uh, cream spinach of ours, we're going to get a bit of a lesson from our Mr. Michael Willif here because there's just so many different types, and I'm hoping you can help me understand it just yeah, a little bit better. Absolutely. Cool. Well, what, what we regard as spinach, this one here, this in is fact, the one I know yeah. pretty much. Yeah. This is um, Swiss chard. Okay. And you can get it. Um, you can get either with a white stem. Uh, I've seen red. I've seen yellow, and I've seen orange. Okay. And um, what we tend to do is to take it off the stalk and then throw the stalk away. But what the French do is the French actually cut it up into slices and cook it. Oh. And I've had it in a quiche. Um, I've had it in a baked oven dish as well. And it's just you know, it's something different. It's something different, exactly. Yeah. Now, so you mentioned this... chard. I mean, <laughs> I think for most people, we, we know spinach or whatnot, but what's the real difference when it comes to chard and spinach? Okay, well, look, there you've got, there you've got your chard leaf. Okay. And there you've got your... your this, is, this is what they call English spinach. English spinach. Just a little sort of spade-shaped leaf, and it's, it, it, it has a, a, a more gentle flavour. Okay. It, it does have that sort of nice minerality yeah. that this one... That this one has as well, but this you can use cooked or raw. Um, mm. We used to make a wonderful salad of this with, with little lardons of bacon and croutons and chopped hard-boiled yes. egg and a nice dressing. It makes nice. a lovely salad. All right. And then of course, um, just as what, what at the cookery school where I went in London, they used to call it spinach en branche. Spinach just en, the, branche. en branche. Just the whole, the yeah. whole piece. So cool. here we have the, so the here we have the English spinach. spinach. And this you can cook in exactly the same way as that. Okay. Makes a lovely soup as well. And then here you've got the baby spinach, which is just the sort of teenagers of that one. And these are great in salads. Um, okay. And you can use them in stir fries as well. That's it. That's but of course you get the you get the the Asian greens, which you can use in in, in stir fries too. But right. this is a this is really the way to use these is to use in in a stir fry. Yes. And then the, these are called. These are called funny things like tat soy. This is tat soy. Pak choy, bok choy. They're all, <laughs> oh, wow. they're all sort of different shapes and sizes. Yeah. And then here you've got some babies of the of the tat soy. Okay. And those are just lovely if you... I can imagine they must be very nice in a salad. Yeah, fresh, of course you're stir salad. frying and you want yeah. something green in. Yes. You put them in right at the end so they still remain sort of slightly crispy. Awesome. And then here we've got some baby, um, some baby chard. And you can see these these are the these are the, the red ones. They've got yes. little red stems and nice little red veins on them. Exactly the same as that. Yes. But but much smaller. Much and this smaller. is the what in restaurant terms they call microgreens. That's it, exactly. Yeah. And then they come in trays and you just take a pair of scissors and you clip them off and you can pop them on top of right. dishes and salads. And I'm going to use I'm going to use this on top of our cream spinach. Great. Which, so. What's going to form the base of our that cream one. spinach? This one. The chard. The good old chard. Yeah. All right, perfect. Cool. So that's it. After the break, we're going to make a lovely creamed spinach. But also stay tuned around 10 past 8. Mr. Ben Getz, our garden expert, is going to be joining us. He's going to tell you how to grow your own spinach. Stay tuned for that. But right now, it's time for an ad break. After this, we cook. Goodness can be found in encouraging greatness at the Junior Runners Academy in Soweto. Pick and pay. Always there for you. Welcome back, it's in a good full on bite program. This express on net here on SRBS 3 Hope you're enjoying this feel good Monday with us. So just before the break, Mr. Michael, if he told us all about spinach, and that was that's what we're going to use right now to make a lovely creamed spinach dish. All right, so Mr. Michael, good. this one shouldn't be too complicated. No, this is nice and easy. But you know, so often when we go out, um, I just put some cream in the milk here. Okay. So often when we go out. Uh, in a restaurant, steakhouse type of place, um, you get given cream spinach, and it is That's so it. delicious. It is, it really and, is. And you want to go home and you want to make it. Well, this is how you do it. All We've right, got cool. some onion here, yes. which is just going nice golden brown. And I'm just going to add a little bit more butter. All right, a little bit more butter. A little bit more butter, <laughs> just to get some fat going there. All right. And this and is nice because especially, I think, for, for a cold winter's night, I mean, there's nothing sure. like a nice and rich cream spinach. Absolutely. Now, the browner that you take your onion, with, obviously without burning it, yes. the more flavor you're going to have in your final dish. All right. So now we just put the flour so in. Flour? What does the flour act as to as a The flour is a, a thickener and a binder. Just pulls everything together. Great. And you just cook it for a short while, yeah. just so that you take that sort of, sort of flouriness out. Okay. 
and, and then, then you've got there a mixture of we've milk, got the milk and cream. cream yeah. All right. But of course, for a full list of the ingredients, you can just SMS the keyword FRESH to 33728. We'll send you on the pick and pay shopping list. And you will be entered into the competition to win yourself a six month subscription to the Fresh Living magazine, which is very cool. You can find the recipe in there as well. Okay, now all mm -hmm. you need to do is you just need to turn this down and then just let it simmer away gently. And you want to cook it for a while so that it gets nice and smooth and the and the, yes. the flour all cooks out completely. All right, cool. And so then that's the base. That's the base, right. So now we have we have a base that's completely made up here. All right. And it's cooled off a little bit. Nice, lovely, smooth. And I love the colour really of that cool. one too. Okay. So, so, so here we have our chard. Th this is the chard. Okay. Now this has been this has been um, boiled in, in water, yeah. drained off, and then as much of the liquid squeezed out as possible, and then chopped finely. All right, cool. So, so you don't actually have to boil it that long, am I correct? No, it's, it's no, you don't. It's a pretty quick process. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, this this recipe comes from the Pick and Pay Fresh Living magazine, the June yes. the June edition of the of the magazine. Um, I, I might put it together slightly differently, yeah. um, but uh, ultimately one lands up with the same <laughs> with the same you result. Each to his own. Absolutely. All right, and now I just mix so that into the there cream. We mix, uh, Oh, beautiful. Let's put it into this lovely oniony, creamy sauce. Nice. That looks, that looks really, really good. Nice and creamy. And like Mr. Michael said, it's in the Fresh Living magazine. You stand the chance of winning yourself a six-month subscription to the magazine just by SMSing the keyword FRESH to 33728. And you will be uh, receiving the pick and pay shopping list for our cream spinach dish this morning. Right. Straight on your phone. So here we got some salt and some grindy pepper. All right. And one of the things that works really well with spinach is nutmeg. Nutmeg? Nutmeg is... No, that's a They first. just love each other. What does it do for the dish? Just it just... You know, the spinach has got quite a nice sort of... Um, sort of nutty... Yes. Um, ...taste. And then the, this just adds such lovely aromatics to it. Great. So there we are. It's really just as simple as that. One of the other things that we quite often do at home... Yeah. Is ...when you get to this stage... ...is to, is to add chopped feta cheese. Chopped feta cheese? Yeah, that oh, I can just imagine into, when the feta starts, like, melting... <laughs> it ...and then ...takes it into a whole other realm. So you can really play around with this yeah. dish. Is it a, a, what? What is a what is something good that you can serve with it? I mean, and um, this is the sort of thing. If you, it goes amazingly well with steak, which is one of the with reasons. Steak. One of the reasons that you oh. always get it in a steakhouse. But it's lovely with fish. Yeah. Um, and as a vegetarian dish, I say you can you can add um, the feta cheese to it, and you could serve it on some kind of potato. Even That's if it. you <clears throat> even if you take small potatoes, boil them, and then put them in a dish, and then just. Not mash them, just smash them. Yeah. With a wooden spoon and sort of break them up and yes. then you can pour this over wow, the top. Wow, that looks so good. I'll use and it here, as a topping for my steak. Yeah, and here we get to put these little little ruby charred leaves on Brilliant. top. Brilliant. Once again, that uh, keyword SMS FRESH to 33728 will send you on all the ingredients to your phone and you can win yourself a uh, six month subscription to the Fresh Living magazine. While we finish that up properly, we're going to go to a quick recap if you've missed any of the steps myself and Michael took. Blanch spinach, then refresh. Squeeze out excess water, then chop. Heat milk and cream. Fry onion in butter, then add flour. Pour in milk and cream while whisking, then mix in nutmeg and spinach. And there we go, last little piece going on. And look at that, Mr. Michael, that looks amazing. Nice dish. I'm gonna have to give a try. You know what? Popeye must have had something right. <laughs> Mm. Wow, that cream, the crunchiness of the of the spinach. Yeah. Incredible. Very, very nice. Nice winter dish, like Mr. Michael said. Serve it with steak or meat, and you've got an awesome dish. Thank you so much. Once again, the Pleasure. keyword fresh Pleasure. to three, three, seven, two, eight. Guys, what do you think about a lovely spinach dish? Gonna have another one. <laughs> mm. We found goodness in goed gedacht olive oil and all the good they do for the community. Pick and pay. Always there for you.